Guys, uh, so today I'm going to be changing spark plugs on this 2009 Toyota Corolla. It's got the 1.8 liter engine. Okay, so before you get your spark plugs from the auto parts store, you're going to want to check to make sure what engine you have in your car. And you can do that by the emission sticker up on the bottom of the hood here. And you can see here, it's a 1.8 liter. And this is the engine code right here. It's a 2 z r FE. Okay guys, the correct plug for that 1.8 liter Toyota engine is uh, Denso. These are factory plugs. That's what they use straight from the factory. It's an Iridium plug. And that's the part number on it right there. These will last up to 100,000 miles on your car. I like to buy the factory Toyota parts. Um, they just last longer and you can get these online for I got these a set of four for $35 online with shipping but if you go to auto parts store they may cost up to $14, $15 a piece and it has a really fine uh, center electrode on it so some other things you're going to need before you change your plugs is some anti-seize so that the, uh, the plugs don't seize in the cylinder head because the cylinder heads are aluminum and the plugs are steel even though they have a chrome plating on them if they're in there for 100,000 miles they may seize up on you so when you put your anti-seize on the threads you just want to put it on the bottom threads here you don't want any anti-seize up here and then you're going to need some dielectric tune-up grease also and this is, <clears throat> they also call it spark plug boot grease. So you, uh, you're going to put it on the spark plug boot or around this end of the plug here. It just keeps the spark plug front boot from uh, getting stuck on there. And then you're also going to want to gap your spark plugs. Okay, to get started you're going to want to take the plastic engine cover off. That just snaps it on. There's some uh, little rubber inserts on the back. There's four of them, like that. Just snaps on. Then you're going to want to make sure the top of your engine is nice and clean where the spark plugs are. Coil packs here. So you want to, if there's a lot of dirt in here, you want to blow that off, clean it up good. Next, you're going to want to take the wiring off your coil packs. The best way I found is get some pliers, squeeze on that connector. And they pull right off. To get your coil pack out, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. You want to loosen that bolt up. To get your spark plug out, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket and some short extensions. To uh, you need the short extensions because you have to clear the call here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting on one extension, getting it in the hole partially. And then I'm <clears throat> adding the other extension onto it once it's in the hole. And that way you can clear. Otherwise, you can see here, if you use one long extension, it's not going to clear. Okay, so you may have a problem with the spark plugs being seized in the head if they've been in there for a long time, like mine, been in there over 100,000 miles. Uh, you can get some uh, croil or some other type of. Uh, lubricant and spray it down in a hole, let it sit for a while, or you can warm up the engine. But first I would recommend, what you can do is try tightening it slightly. Uh, sometimes that'll break it loose, and then you can uh, slowly loosen it up. If you get a magnetic pickup tool like this, you can get these for a couple bucks. You can uh, pull the spark plug out with that once you get it loose enough. Okay, so I got my plug out. Let me take a look at the gap on it. Looks really clean. Zoom this out a little bit. Looks real clean. It's got a little oil on it because I sprayed coil down in there. But uh, this end is running real nice. 100,000 miles, the original plugs. 
Okay, here's a comparison between the old plug and new plug. The electrode tips. See how rounded off the uh, center electrode is on that one compared to the new one. It's a little shorter too. So, uh, yeah, this, this plug's definitely worn out. Yeah, we're going to put some new ones in there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a little touch of anti-seize on these bottom threads here. So next time I take these plugs out, it'll be all good. Okay, once you got your spark plug threaded down in the hole pretty good, you want to take your torque wrench and set it for 15 to 20 foot-pounds. I set mine down to 15. I've got a half inch to three eighths adapter on there. And we're going to torque this spark plug down. There it is at 15. Okay, next I'm going to take some dielectric tune-up grease or spark plug boot grease. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the tip right there, just like that, of the uh, coil pack. Start the engine up. That's all it takes to uh, change your spark plugs in your 1.8 liter engine in a Toyota or Pontiac Aztec or any similar vehicle with that Toyota 1.8 liter engine. Pretty simple job, some basic hand tools, that's all you need. And you'll have all your spark plugs changed and you'll save yourself a bunch of money. Alright, take care guys.